good morning my dear students now we will discuss about chapter 3 be courageous in this chapter we are going to learn what is meant by courage and also we will learn about self awareness decision making and problem solving courage is the choice and willingness to fight agony pain danger etc even when a person has the option of quitting away or surrendering people who boldly face physical pain hardship threat of death etc are said to have physical courage on the other hand people who boldly face opposition shame scandal discouragement personal loss etc are said to have moral courage so we can divide this courage into two phases physical courage and moral courage if you face a lot of difficulties in your life with a lot of sicks and pain in your body then you got a physical courage to face that all on the other hand if you face a lot of pain in your heart if you face a lot of discouragements personal loss criticisms and shames from the society then you have a moral courage both are required for a good life we should be courageous to face all the physical and the mental problems various people show courage in different aspects of life for example a soldier show immense courage in battlefield a policeman show courage by handling dangerous people and things a fireman shows courage by getting into a burning building a child who gets injury while playing cricket shows courage by going back to the ground after recovering these all are the examples of courage moreover a common man shows courage even he stands stalls to face the challenges and the problems of everyday life today we are also showing courage to face the problems related to corona virus by sitting in home and making ourselves comfort in a room and avoiding maximum social interactions we are showing courage to stand with that problem in the past india produced many great souls who became famous because of their courageous deeds subhash chandra bose was one of them so we are going to learn about subhash chandra bose once he said give me your blood i will give you freedom that was his courage and the people those who suffered a lot show courage to stand with this great man subhash chandra bose that led to the freedom of india now we will learn about this courageous man subhash chandra bose he is popularly known as netaji was born on january 23rd 1897 in kadak odisha his parents were janginath bose and prabhavadi netaji was very brilliant at studies from childhood itself in his early childhood european protestant school kadak later he shifted to the ravenshaw collegiate school netaji very often recollected the teachings of the headmaster of the school and prized him for those moral lessons which he had planted in the minds of the students in the year 1913 netaji joined the presidency college of kolkata university and got his ba degree in 1990 in the same year he was sent to england for higher studies in the indian civil service at cambridge but his patriotism did not allow him to stay in england for long when he heard about the freedom movement in india under the leadership of gandhi ji he returned to india in 1921 after reached india he took part in the freedom struggle together with the gandhi ji he became the voice of the young generation of india joining the hands with the bhagat singh he organized a number of youth movements in different parts of the country these movements were organized with an element of military discipline as a means to achieve freedom in his speeches he stressed on patriotism integrity sacrifice and uncompromising adherence to the cause of complete national freedom in 1929 in the famous lahore section of the congress he announced 
I am an extremist and my principle is all or none. He was arrested and sent to jail many times. The British were cruel towards him in the prison. Once even his blood soaked clothes were exhibited in a public meeting. But like a tiger in its cage, he roared at the British from the jail itself. During the time of hardship in the jail, there was a choice to quit from all this suffering, but he did not. That is called the physical and mental courage. Giving up is not the sign of a courageous person. He will try again and again even though if he is failing. He will try until he achieves the success. That is the power of the courageous mind. In 1938, in the Hadipura section of the Congress, he was elected as the President of the Indian National Congress. By that time, many people had become his followers. There he announced, there is no power on earth that can keep India enslaved any longer. He even visited the other countries. Starting from Japan, he formed the Asad Hindu Fulch International Army. He spoken to its members. We shall carve our way through the enemy's rank, or if God wills, we shall die a martyr's death. The road to Delhi is the road to freedom. Dilli Chalo was the motto of the INA people, helped Nedaji in many ways. Though Nedaji earnestly worked for freedom, he could not see a free India. In August 1945, he was traveling to Japan with a few of his friends. Perhaps it was his last journey as the Tokyo radio announced the sad news that Nedaji lost his life in plane crash. But many Indians, even today, do not really accept his death. Nedaji has a place of distinction in the history of India's freedom struggle. As the underlying symbol of anti-imperialism, Nedaji remains a leader of hope and inspiration for all the oppressed communities. So dear students, courage refers to your spirit of standing tall in dangerous situations. Try to be courageous in small as well as big aspect of your life. Face the challenges and the problems boldly.